forth and craft. Crafters, here's a starter of Umiak, and we're just going to use a paper towel, spray water on it, and uh, then fold it over some. And then I will use my 50% water, 50% white glue, and uh, then fold it again. I will pinch up the sides here, and then add some glue on the end, full strength glue, and then kind of pinch it on the end to make the shape of a boat, right? So it just really couldn't be simpler, just super easy. There we go, we got that. So now I just want to check and make sure that a figure can stand in it. And yes, there's room. All right, perfect. Now that it's dried up, I'm going to add another layer of glue. Okay, and this is just the Elmer's glue all. And uh, just put that on there. Now remember that you can pick up all this stuff uh, in my links below the video, uh, the crafting stuff I'm using. All right, just paint that on, and that'll harden that up nicely. Now that that's dried, I'm going to use my flexible modeling paste. I love this stuff. It gives a great texture, right? You could also use the glue gun if you wanted. So there we go. That'll we'll let that dry, and that'll harden up nicely. So I also wanted to add some details to this, right? And one detail was I wanted to have kind of uh, whale bones on it, on the front and the back. So I cut the tines off a fork, okay? And you can see I also, I also added some bones to the center of the boat by just dragging the hot glue uh, gun through the boat and getting that nice detail. Now here I've just I've just glued on those tines onto the front and back of the boat. I think that's a really nice detail, really nice effect. And here we go. It's uh, you can see I'm working on some huts. I'm going to show another video on that later. But uh, the uh, whale bones that I have on the front and the back of the boat, I did kind of a loop of hot glue there on the front, and it looks like it's held on with like sinew or something. So I think that's a pretty cool effect. And then I just painted them dark brown, my burnt umber. So just uh, after I spray painted it flat black. And here I've added a tan, kind of a wash of tan. I thought that made it look, uh, gave a neat kind of effect there. Then I painted all the whale bones. I painted them uh, with a ivory white, okay. I then added a uh, golden brown to kind of make them look aged and that kind of thing. So I think that's, that's pretty cool too. And then the end here, I just did a little bit of shading on the whale bones in the boat and the edge of the boat. So I think that added a nice little effect to the boat. And uh, now let's hit the, uh, the frigid Arctic seas and see what these boats look like. Cool. Hey guys, I couldn't be pleased more with these boats. Here's my Arctic Sea, and I've got my uh, ice hunters in them. And wow, look at that really cool effect. They really looks like hide, I think, which is what I was going for because they don't have access to wood, right? A hide and bone. And I think that's really cool. I got some uh, my ice hunters in there. I'll show another video on those. Really sturdy boats, actually. After the after everything we applied to it, just super sturdy. And I think they look great and just nice and primitive, like maybe an ice hunter might have in these uh, frozen seas. These are just styrofoam, cut styrofoam. And uh, you can check out my other ice vids on that one. And if I pull this uh, this cellophane back. Uh, it's just a, I've just got a blue uh, foam core board below it, and I just cut cellophane to cover it, and it really gives a nice watery effect, right? Looks like they're in the ocean or something. Uh, Arctic Sea, so really cool. I'm just really happy with these. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, more Arctic uh, crafts to come. Ah, here I am having a great time at the beach while all those other fools in DM Scotty's game are freezing their butts off in the Arctic. Ah, <laughs> uh, hey, Roderick. Ah, uh, yeah, DM Scotty. Is that a kraken coming up in the water behind you? Uh, what? 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 Oh, ha, ha, you got me that time. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I, I didn't believe you. I didn't believe you. Nope, nope. 